Hello everybody and welcome back to another New Balance shoe review. Today I want to talk about a shoe inspired by the past, built for the future. But first, I want to talk about the constant gaps between my videos. I filmed a video for the Vision Racers and all the footage got corrupt, which oh. kind of made me lose a lot of motivation for making these videos. And lastly, I've just been taking mad L's on shoes, like I cannot win nothing. Um, which kind of sucks because there were some shoes that I really wanted. And I'm not going to pay resell for it just out of principle. That's not what I'm about. Um, but I do like older shoes though. So if you guys want to see a lot of shoes in my collection, I'll be more than happy to show it off. Like the Moroccan tiles right here. I think those are pretty cool. Okay, well without further ado, let's get started into the review. Okay, well this shoe is a relatively new shoe. I think there has only been maybe like four models with the shoes not including the Casablanca collab ones which i really like but i think i like the 327s a little bit more um but with all that being said i think that these ones are my personal favorite i also like the original ones those ones are really really cool i think first off i want to say that this shoe is extremely experimental the xc72 reshapes elements from some of new balance's top 70s shoes and i think that this is the most interpretive heritage shoe to date okay starting at the top of the shoe we have some chrome free leather and tan and some of the benefits to that is less pollution cleaner waste streams and improved biodegradability i want to give a big thumbs up to new bounce for their efforts of trying to be as sustainable and environmentally friendly as possible i like their project and what they're trying to do i think that's awesome and i'm not going to dock any points into that the leather feels the same as any other leather maybe a little bit more tough but you know what, that's not a bad problem. I think that a shoe like this, you want some firmness and stability. So as you see here, separating the leather, we have this orange mesh making the shoe look like it's separated. And I think it makes it look pretty cool and stylish. Kind of like a ninja shoe or something, right? <laughs> Above that, we have the lacing system and it's the same chrome-free leather we saw earlier, but this time in a nice muted pink colorway. The laces we get are a nice royal blue, and I think that it's a really nice touch. I wish we got more laces, but I would settle for blue. I think a nice like tan would be nice, or like maybe like a brown. I think that'd be really nice as well. Uh, but I'm I'm not mad with the royal blue. I think it just stands out, and it's super complimentary with the orange mesh separation on the toe box. So let's get to the part where I don't really like the tongue. The tongue, I don't have a problem with the fabric. It's a nylon tongue with New Balance printed on here. Um, I have a feeling that this little New Balance, after some wear and tear, uh, it's gonna start peeling off. I wish it was like printed, but that's not what is really a big deal for me. For me is the actual tongue. If you can see, it's kind of like the Nike Trailblazer um, or the Nike Blazers. I, I don't know, right? I'm not a big Nike guy, but it's like half done, right? I feel like they needed to cover the inside part with more nylon and sew it up. I get that it's trying to be like a heritage thing and that's how it was back then, but maybe you didn't need to keep that part from back in the day. I think that it's just kind of lazy and I feel like this could be pretty problematic maybe with capturing sweat or actually ripping and coming apart. It's just not cool on my part. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. On a 327, you would see intelligent choice right here, and you see nothing. And I think that it's there for a reason. But moving on. On both sides of the shoe, we have this crinkle nylon. And I really like this a lot because I think it makes it stand out and it makes it just a little bit more fashion forward. We see this a lot in the 327s, and I'm not complaining. It's probably one of my favorite materials. As for the end, it's nothing really special, it's just a synthetic leather big old N, just really big emphasize. Everyone's gonna know what you're wearing when you see these, especially with a silhouette like this. It's definitely gonna be an eye catcher. Looking inside the shoe, we do have this really soft, nice black heel and almost like a felt texture. I wish they would have done more crinkled nylon on here. Some 327s have that on the heel and I think it adds a nice touch in keeping the shoe nice and secure. As for the insole, we do have this custom printed XC72, which actually gives a nice touch to the shoe. No one will ever see it. You'll hardly know it's there, but 
it's nice to have. Looking at the back of the shoe, we do have this tiny teal blue heel. Try saying that three times fast. And I think it complements the rest of the neutral shoe pretty well, actually. And that's covered by some more of that chrome-free leather we saw earlier in the shoe, but this time in a gunmetal gray colorway. And this is really nice. Um, it kind of has like a little pocket if you want. I'm kind of scared to like yank it out. But I wish there was like an NB right here. I think that would have been a really nice touch. Moving below that, we have the heel wrap, which is gonna give you a lot of support and stability when you're walking around and maybe shooting hoops. I, I would play some sports in these. I would get down on baseball with a tread like this, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. For the midsole, we do have a protruding heel, and personally, that's one of my favorite things you can put in this shoe like the Nike Sakai, they have them, and then the 237s have them. And personally, I don't know why, it's just one of my favorite things you can have on a shoe. And this is starting to become one of my favorite shoes. You have the crinkle nylon, you have a protruding heel, and you have a nice, nice colorway, which kind of reminds me of like the simple colorways of Tokyo Design Studio that New Balance does. I actually have a pair of, uh, of 997H's right there. Maybe I'll talk about it one day. Okay, now looking at the outrageous yet groundbreaking, dare I say, outsole. This outsole is split right down the middle and it's very special to me. I think it's super distinctive. The vertically split outsole features traction patterns from the XC15 and the 375's. And I personally love this. And I think New Bounce is killing the retro game because they're bringing back classic models and putting crazy twists on it. And not to mention that they're starting to make shoes more environmentally friendly. And I love that. Well, that's going to do it for me today. What do you think about the model and the shoe? Do you like it? Why or why not? Please let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you next time for another New Balance shoe review. Oh, my bad. I forgot to say, if you like the video, please consider subscribing. That helps a lot too. Later.